Jesus walked this earth, he had heaven inside him because his father dwelled in him. Mm. They're, they're one. But mm. when he knew that there was coming a time where that was going to be separated, that's where the torment, that's where the, the, the distress came. Mm. Yo, so, so Tim, there's a question that I have for you yeah. about heaven. What is heaven and what is hell? Like, what's your thoughts on this thing? I think we all know that heaven, simply put, is where God is. But instead of asking what is heaven, what is hell, I think we should ask like the who question. So if you think about heaven as being where God is, that should frame the question. So instead of what is heaven, what is hell, who is heaven for? It's for God. And where is heaven? Well, it's where he is, you know. So instead of thinking of it that way, I, I'm I'm trying to frame the question in a way where we get more clarity about what heaven is exactly. It's a place where God is and where He lives, where He dwells. You know, that's a good point because I think for me, when I think when I talk, when my kids ask me that question, like ask me about heaven, ask me about hell, I always tell them like. Heaven is where, you said, heaven is where God is. Hell is where God is not. So you take away like the, the fun, the clouds, take away the fire and the torment, whatever those things are that people um, describe hell as like. Think about, well, where God is, is heaven. Yeah. Where God is not, is hell. Yeah. And the choice comes down to that. Do you want to be with God? Then you're gonna choose, then you're choosing heaven. Yeah. You don't want to be with God, don't choose God, and you're choosing him. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's, it's very simple in that way. Yeah, and you know what? It reminds me of this. this ch follow me where I'm coming, going with this. So, if you think about Jesus just before he goes to the cross, just before he gets beaten and, and hung on the cross, mm -hmm. he's praying in the garden and he is just like distraught. The Bible says like he's like bleeding droplets of blood. Yeah. It's that like dramatic, that, that harsh. Mm -hmm. And for me reading this, I'm thinking, okay, well, he knows he's about to get physically hurt, beat and all that. Holy Spirit impressed on me that it wasn't necessarily about that, but it was because he was getting ready to be separated from his father. That's what it was. Jesus walked this earth. He had heaven inside him because his father dwelled in him. They're, they're one. But when he knew that there was coming a time where that was going to be separated, that's where the torment, that's where the 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 distress came. Mm, that's what doing. So it's like heaven, heaven is not just a place to go, but heaven is about God where he dwells. Mm. And wherever he dwells, that's where heaven is. Because that's where he lives. Um, and if you're separated from that, then you get the opposite of, <laughs> of opposite of that. So wherever God isn't come all this other vast of that one. Yeah, that's that's actually a good point. I think yeah that's a good point. And so it makes you think about that makes you think about heaven now in a different way where I'm like, okay, so heaven is not the destination. The God is the destination. We want to have a relationship with God. Christ was in relationship with God. Yeah. So he had it already. He yeah. was he feared not death. He feared not going to hell per se, kept carrying all the sins. Mm -hmm. But his fear was to be severed separate from God. From his father, yeah. So that kind of tells me that, yo, like, for us right now in this world, like, we can get heaven now. Yeah. If we're able to seek and follow the Father now, today, this moment, then we can also start to build a relationship with him. That would not just give us a place in heaven, but like really just it gives us a connection with him. Yeah. And if we have a connection with him, then we're gonna want to resign there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.